All right, welcome back to Rock Forever. We've got a special show for you today. We've got a guest who's been in a lot of your favorite bands, but more importantly, he's got a solo album he wants to tell you all about. Please welcome Jizzy Pearl. That's me. What's up, Jizzy? So it's been a crazy couple years, man. I know uh, it's given you some time to write. You've got your your books. You got three books out. We'll talk about those. And, you know, you got this solo album, now a deal with a golden robot. So why don't we jump right in? Tell us about the, um, the solo album and, you know, what will you feel most proud that you've achieved, you know, with recording these songs? Well, the solo records coming out on uh, February of next year on golden robot records, 10 songs, uh, you know, it's uh, Jizzy Pearl Love Hate. If you like the old Love Hate band and the sound and the vibe, then you'll dig this record. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just hard rock. Was was there any special uh, players or producers or how did you put this one together? Who Who's in the uh, mix with you? Well, I do the produ- I do the producing myself. I do most of the stuff myself. I had players come in and play on it and uh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. The usual suspects or uh, anybody new that you uh, collaborated uh, with? Stevie and Christian, two guys that are in my UK band. I have a band that, I have a love-hate band that plays in the UK and uh, and I use them on some of the uh, songs and, uh, yeah, you know, usual suspects. So were these uh, virtual sessions, you would uh, throw them a track they and they would play on it? Of course they were. Yeah, it was okay. in the middle of lockdown. So, uh, so we weren't uh, dancing cheek to cheek. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about that, um, you know, love-hate era. I know... Um, it was significant in that you had a major label deal. And I know that's a roller coaster ride, you know, trying to keep a, a conglomerate happy. But um, talk, talk about those days, you know, when you were, um, you know, in, in the scene in LA, obviously there was a lot of, a, a lot of bands, uh, you know, making things happen. And, um, you know, everybody was trying to get that elusive record deal. And you guys ended up with Columbia. Um, t- t- talk about your memories of that time, what that cat fight was like to uh, get that deal and, uh, you know, make that first record. Well, you know, it obviously it was a great time. We, we all struggled very hard, uh, got the record deal and made the record and it was a great record and got to tour the world and open up for huge bands and play arenas and stadiums and, uh, yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, I know one of the, you know, the great tours was uh, ACDC. And I'm sure growing up, you know, you uh, held these guys in high regard. You know, what what was that like to, you know, be on the same stage as uh, Angus and Malcolm Young and Brian Johnson and, and just feel that, that energy of their crowd? Well, again, I mean you can imagine what it was well you can't imagine what it was like because you weren't there but just you know you it was amazing it was uh totally amazing to play on those big stages it was uh it was killer now were those shows in the uk or some in europe where were those no they were all in the united states well there was there was we, we played the sky dome in toronto but but i think they were all mostly in the u.s okay okay and was that was that the highlight or was there any other tours around that time that you felt were oh, it was it was all downhill after that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no i've i've been doing this i mean we, you, you're talking 1990 that was over 30 years ago i mean i've played in rat and la guns and quiet riot i mean i was playing arenas in rat i was playing opening up in arenas and la guns i play arenas today in Quiet Riot, you know, M3 and, and other big places. So I, I've pretty much been doing this at 
a higher level for you know since the record the since the love hate records came out yeah and i know you still um have the love hate you know tag you know with your solo album um what what is it about those uh those records you made and and the impact you guys made um maybe not enough to, to sustain columbia records but you know you've got that you know core cult audience over there in uk or europe or, or around america what, what do you think it was about the love hate records that resonated with people uh people that wanted a little something in your stand cookie cutter band that looked like guns and roses and sounded like guns and roses we we you know we didn't fit that mold and, and in the uk we had songs about drinking that sort of come on because people like to drink over there and have fun and so yeah i mean it kind of caught on over there i think because of that mm. and and you obviously have a unique name what's the origin of jizzy pearl my real name's Jim, and uh, I was looking for a nickname to compete with Cece DeVille and Nikki Six and Bucky Lawless, and my real name just didn't cut it on a marquee. It was it wasn't it wasn't uh, didn't have enough pizzazz, so I just you know changed it. Yeah, and I know you're. Uh... Your partner in crime and love hate skid, you know, he was a very artistic guy. How did you guys, uh, you know, marry that dichotomy of, you know, being as artistic as you wanted to be, but also being commercial enough to appease a major label or try and get on the radio? Well, we really never did. We just, we got signed because everybody was getting signed i shouldn't say that the, we got signed because all the record labels were going crazy over guns and roses success so then you know faster pussycat got signed la guns got signed you know because record labels always want what the other one has especially if it's successful so we got picked up in that um tidal wave of signings and um you know, was was a good thing. Yeah, and I know you guys had your own um, little compound, uh, I believe, in downtown L.A. Um, why why was it great to have kind of your own your own lab there, where you could kind of have your own little uh, rehearsals or shows for your friends and uh, be able to create? Well because it it made us 100% committed to the band. When you live with the other guys in the band, everything else is um, not important. It's 100% commitment to the band and that's what made us so good. I mean, that's what, that's why some bands are as good as other bands because they're not willing to uh, put 100% in, you know, to the group and uh to the vision so that's that's what made us so good yeah yeah well it was definitely a uh you know a crazy time and i know like i say a lot of people anticipate your your solo album keeping that love hate vibe going what what are your favorite songs on 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 the album what, what do you feel that people most should hear first well this first single soul mama was great and um, there's other songs that are killer on it. I mean, it's just, it's a straight ahead rock record. And I think it's, it's you know, pretty damn good from beginning to end. Of course, I'm not being subjective about it because I wrote the whole thing, but uh, I think it's, it's really good. I think people really dig it. Yeah, well, the singles definitely sound great. Can't wait to hear the rest. Now, obviously you have uh, this other side gig with, uh, you know, the Great Quiet Riot, which everyone is celebrating the fact that Rudy Sarzo from the classic era is uh, rejoining the band. And uh, obviously you lost the great Frank 
Frankie Benali, um, but now you have Alex Grossi and uh, Rudy Sarge, Sarzo sharing the front of the stage with you. Uh, what are you most excited, you know, about doing those initial shows with the, uh, you know, new energy? Well, new energy. Uh, Rudy's great. Rudy's uh, Rudy's Rudy. You know, he's he's uh, he's uh, iconic, and he's got. Um, a lot of credibility. I mean, he's been, I, I remember seeing him back when he played with Ozzy Osbourne and Randy Rhodes back in. So, I mean, uh, he's, he brings a lot, you know, back to the band and uh, it's great. Yeah. Well, that was certainly an important time um, prior to love hate, you know, when, um, you know, the original quiet riot or the, you know, the Kevin DeBro era, you know, made that, you know, mental health record down on Melrose Avenue there uh, at Pasha Studios. And, um, you know, they were the first of the L.A. hard rock bands to get on the radio. And next thing they know, they're playing the Us Festival with, you know, Motley Crue and Van Halen and Ozzy and Judas Priest and, you know, everybody. So I know it was um, quite a whirlwind for them at the time. And, you know, people people want to hear those songs, you know, and I know you guys are always about making new songs to add to the repertoire. So it's not just a nostalgia act, but, um, you know, I know you, you play a lot of these shows that people are celebrating, you know, the eighties and, um, all that. What, what, what do you think it is, you know, with those fans that, uh, you know, love the eighties the most, is it their soundtrack to their teenage years or, or them coming up and just, uh, you know, lo loving those memories? All of all of the above. They they love the music. It takes them back to where they were. They went to live shows, so they're not spoiled and want to watch bands on virtual concerts. They want to go out and experience a live show. Uh, you know, it's it's all that stuff. Yeah. Well, we can't uh, can't wait for the solo album, and I know uh, there's uh, more more to come and. You know, tell us a little bit about the books. I know you've always been a writer, obviously as a songwriter, but uh, as you're able to, you know, write out this uh, this fiction or these stories, you know, what uh, what does that feel like, uh, you know, as far as a new chapter of creativity? Well, it's just another form of expression. It's uh, if people are interested, they can go check the books out at jizzypro.net. I sell them uh at my website and uh yeah yeah they're you know they're very sunset strip rock and roll crazy stories and uh you know they're 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 killer 